Hey guys, good morning. We're up bright and early. Well, it's definitely early for me. I'm hoping you're all good. Um, it's time now to start out my pumpkin crop. And boy, after my first trial with this, I said that I wasn't gonna try this again. But I've learned from my my first attempt. <music> Um, I know what I have to do now so I've taken all of those lessons put them in my my bag and I'm gonna be learning from it as I go forward so the first thing I have to do is to identify the ideal land space I'm looking for a flat enough area a relatively smooth terrain I don't want a hilly area because I want something that's easily accessible for a tractor I'm not gonna be using manual labor I want the tractor to plow um, so I want something that is on on the flat areas, on the low line areas, and I want something that's between two to three acres. That's what we're looking for for our first pumpkin crop. So I'm gonna be going on my quest for land space. I don't know. I have some ideas in mind, but I'm not sure if it will be the best place. And based on the fact that I share with I have to share with cows as well, cow space as well. So I'm not sure what I'll find, um, but I'm going to be taking you along for the journey. So let's go land hunting. So guys, one of the areas I thought about was hair. Yeah, I know it's all grown up, so you're not going to really see the true beauty of it. But it goes all the way up. So I would be able to get roughly two acres from here because it goes all the way over. But as you can see, the challenge, yeah, it's a hilly area so the tractor would not be able and not only that but it has a lot of stones in there the tractor i doubt the tractor is going to be able to access this yeah the tractor could come up through here but then i think it would only be able to plow up to there let me show you right up there so to go over it's going to be a challenge so hmm it's good soil definitely good soil but I think this is gonna be a problem for us so hmm I'm not so sure what you guys think so I'm thinking this is gonna be a bit of an easy for us I really want no, I don't want to use manual labor one it is too costly and it is too time-consuming so we want to jump right into it get a tractor for a day half a day to just plow the land well first whatever site we go to would have to burn down the grass so we'd have to get herbicides burn it down within three days that would be dried up and then the tractor just comes in and would just blow it up so that's what we're aiming towards i think this is a, mm -mm, a no no for us so let's see if we can find another area find another area that is the ideal spot we have to look for that ideal spot my limitation is gonna be cows because we have to leave land for cows we have a few cows so we have to leave land space for that so that's my main limitation but let's see what we can find we should be able to find about two to three acres that we can actually utilize for the scrap so the journey continues let's go so guys this is us scoping out the place trying to find the best place for a pumpkin crop you can hear it's quite windy you hear that in the background so we look over there we can i'm thinking that would be a good one the tra tractor can definitely access there not looking too bad but let's just come to a pause get out the van and get a close-up to make a better decision all right so this is it we're gonna see if we can go over there so no here is definitely ideal um smooth enough terrain easily accessible for the tractor and even our regular vehicles so i think this would be it and easy for us to get water in the event that we we continuously have this drought um so this is quite fine i think we're set on this one what do you guys think lovely it fits within our two to three acres um feature that we want so looking good 
I think it's a go. Well, it's definitely a go for me. The sun is on us. <laughs> so, guys, I have identified an area that I think would be the best place. I just need to confirm, um, make some calls. We talk about it as a group and find out what's best for me to do moving forward. But I think this is that's the ideal spot. So, it's now to get um guys to come spray it out use some herbicides spray down and then the tractor just comes in plow it up in a day and we're good to go we're ready to plant in our to plant our seeds so that's it so guys remember we identified the land space that we wanted to use for the pumpkins and look at it now yeah the tractor came in and plowed it up we sprayed the land using herbicide and I'll do another video on that to show you the best herbicide to use. So we sprayed it down to kill the grass and then now we got the tractor to come in. And look at it guys. Look at it. So it's just a, for pumpkins you don't need, as I said, you don't need a lot. It's not, it doesn't take a lot in starter process. Um, we plowed it up and I'm ready to tell you all about it. So let's show you how. The tractor has basically done most of the work all we need to do now is just to dig a little hole and just plant the seeds may not work and what they're basically doing is just digging the holes planting the seeds and after you've covered it up then you fertilize so we are fertilizing at the initial stages so as soon as we plant the seed we're fertilizing the same time that's a technique that we decided to use for this one we're trying it out for um, this phase I have to give the disclaimer that regrettably, I do not have any recordings of us actually planting the seeds in the ground throughout the initial stages of my pumpkin crop. So what I will have to do is to take clips from the present planting season just for demonstration purposes. The good thing with pumpkin, you don't really have to dig deep. Because remember, it's an above the ground crop. So I just need to place my seeds in there. Oops, seems like it's gonna rain. Place, all right, so that's about five seeds. And so I'm gonna cover it. That's it. Now I'm gonna fertilize. And there you can see I fertilized. Dried pumpkin seeds were planted in rows approximately three feet apart. We also place four to six seeds in each hole depending on the seed quality our pumpkin crop has officially been launched remember guys if you like this video remember to give it a thumbs up share leave your comments and definitely subscribe bye guys